Let's find the derivative of f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 1 using the standard definition of a derivative found in Calc 1. That means that f prime of x will equal the limit as h goes to 0. f of x plus h means that we're going to take every x plus h and plug that in wherever we see an x. So this will be an x plus h that we're substituting in for this x, in for this x, and in for this x. That means that this will look like parenthesis uh, x plus h um, parenthesis squared minus five times parenthesis x plus h oops and then plus one. From this expression the formula tells us next to subtract f of x itself. So minus uh, x squared minus 5x plus 1. And finally, take this entire expression and divide that through by an h. h. So, in simplifying this, we'll first expand out x plus 8 squared minus 5 times x plus h plus 1. Distribute the minus sign and combine like terms on top. Meaning that this will become f prime of, oops, f prime of x will equal limit as h goes to 0 of. In expanding this out, a pair of x plus h multiplied using a shortcut would be x squared plus h squared plus twice their product. Distributing the minus 5 will be a minus 5x minus 5h plus 1. Distributing a minus sign would become minus x squared plus 5x minus 1. And in fact, we don't need that original parenthesis here. Now, if we've done this correctly, every term in the end will cancel with terms along the way, leaving only expressions that have an h in it. Note that negative x squared cancels with positive x squared, positive 5x cancels with negative 5x, and minus 1 cancels with positive 1. This means f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to 0, of 2xh plus h squared and minus a 5h. Finally, to simplify the h's, we'll split this fraction over a common denominator into three fractions. f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of 2xh over h plus h squared over h minus 5h over h. And again, simplifying each fraction cancels an h out. This leaves us, and we'll write this in the second half of our screen over here, f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of 2x plus h minus 5. At the very end, We'll evaluate the limit by realizing if h goes to 0, this term will become 0. So f prime of x is equal to 2x plus 0 minus 5. Simplifying our final answer, the derivative f prime of x is equal to 2x minus 5.